different from the so we have a second part about the analysis of uh, the World Championship in France. So there is some additional remarks and some nice videos. And then I will come to the World Championship uh, for the winners in, in Germany. Also some first impressions. We are still working on the general analysis. I think the beginning of April is finished. And then we will publish this in a much education center. Also, a topic which is what we will discuss later in the course. Uh, some remarks to the defense tactics. Was it in France very clear, a little bit similar to the European uh, Championships? Uh, mostly basic formation was 6 0. And uh, we had a lot of discussion with the coaches, the teams, and they always. Let me say it in a more easier way. They always had in their head, okay, we have to find some solution against the yeah. I think it was the most uh, the reason to uh, play 6 0. And on the other hand, on the other hand, the IHF in the line in uh, progressive punishment. That is also clear. Uh, no, there was an interaction a little bit <laughs> between IHF and rules interpretation. We informed the teams before the uh, course, uh, before the uh, championship, very clear, clear information uh, uh, what we want to do uh, in duels, especially uh, along the six meter line. And so that was, was a clear idea to play more six zero, uh, protect the pivot, and to find good help situations. Yeah. Uh, from the side, so that you can double the pivot or maybe uh, three uh, defender against the uh, uh, pivot. That was the main main idea. But, but on the other hand, six zero is not always a defensive formation. You can play in a six zero also active, and sometimes it is difficult to see is it a six zero five one or whatever. Yeah. Yeah? So uh, so that's six zero means uh, that is important to know. <laughs> not that you are playing defensively. Yeah. Uh, you can play in a 6 0 also very uh, flexible. <laughs> and uh, so that is important uh, to know. And that is, is uh, also written here. No general development, de developments in the active and flexible defense in the men's area. Uh, Spain, okay, with a 5 1. You saw it better than in the European Championship. Yeah. This platform is excellent, but it is a special, it depends on the special uh, Spanish philosophy. And this uh, is based on a little bit different way in basic and advanced training. It's totally different. They are, from the beginning, they are training this. The philosophy, the philosophy is to act in space, not man to man. And right from the beginning. And it's interesting to know, I think, uh, the defense will develop in this way that you have to play at the end everything. Uh, a good defense player must be able to play defensive, offensive, active in space. So, so uh, that is a question of education. So, and that's the, yeah, yeah. And so I think we can't copy Spain, but I think it's a good idea to take something uh, from this uh, philosophy. That's the reason also for the practice uh, uh, tomorrow or after tomorrow. I will show you. I also have a strong connection to, the, to Spain, long years now. I know the philosophy very well. And we worked also in the past were excellent together. For example, by there, we there, a good friend. Yeah. Uh, and he's open. He's open. He uh, can explain everything. <laughs> yeah, open mind. Uh, not. <laughs> So that is really nice, and uh, we always talk about how we can develop the uh, lower game. Uh, so he's really a good man. And uh, so I will show you also in the practice some some typical exercises how they train uh, flexible and active defense, especially for basic and advanced play. Uh, not only in the top, uh, but also how they develop this. I think it's good to know. It's good to know, and nice exercises you can. Uh, uses, uh, especially in such a course. Yeah. We try to do it also in Germany, uh, but it costs a lot. 
cross time to adapt uh, in the class, but it's important that players learn it right from the beginning, right from the beginning. Not only to fix to man to man, but only to act in space. Okay, that uh, on the other hand, uh, yeah, in a, we have a separate uh, topic, seven against uh, six. So uh, then I will explain a little bit more to this from the attacking point of view and also from the defense. Here in, in France, uh, mostly all teams played uh, with the six zero against seven attackers. But we said it also uh, after Rio, wait for the development of the defense. And, and I'm sure this development will come, and in the, you could saw it in the European Championship. Now, I, I spoke with Dina uh, in France after the World Championship, and he said, oh, now we are thinking about 5-1. We must be more active against seven uh, attackers. Sure, he has done this. Yeah? And uh, I think that this could be a uh, little bit the idea. Uh, be careful, uh, it is very dangerous to say, oh, seven against six, that is now the big solution uh, from the attacking. Now, oh, we are all playing seven against six, nothing else. Yeah. Wait for the reaction of the defense. This is always. At first, come, ideas coming uh, from the attack, and then <laughs> from the defense. And that is always. You, when you look in the past, it was the same when we created this high speed game with the quick throw At first, everyone. Concentrated to the attack, and then the defense was coming. And we were sure we were the same with seven against six. Until now, I can't tell you what is the solution in three, four years of seven against six. I have some opinions, but that includes this. Maybe you must do it, but I'm not sure you can play it 60 minutes. I'm sure not. <coughs> Some coaches said it, said this. When we created this rule, then all the coach, oh, you destroyed the game. <laughs> now we play only seven against six. Also, one famous German coach said this. I love that. But he was in a rule working group, so we have a chance enough to do different things. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, we will see that is a special one. Okay. Important is, as only as a re re reminder, I said it yesterday, more important is uh, it's not the question which defense formation you, you want to play. More important is how you adapt during the match. That is more important and that is the model from France, which this team are doing this in, a, in a very good way, also, also Spain, the European Championship. This, this aspect is more important. I will show you then also some examples. So we saw some examples. So the, what the teams played in attack in the European in a world uh, championship. Then here, if we have six zero formations, then it's clear that all teams are playing more crossing. So this famous crossing is without the ball, we're crossing with a pivot and whatever. Uh, this uh, is uh, the, the most played opening uh, in the World Championship. Important, some small details. Change of pace and rhythm, that is more important. That, that's a, that's a, the problem, I said it again, or I repeat it again, the problem of all Asian uh, teams that are playing with one speed. Uh, but uh, more important, you will see it later, is to, to play a little bit with the, with the pace, with the speed. And that is, for me, uh, more important, and that is a big point for the future to develop our attacking behavior. I'm sure. Also, in, in France, it is a big topic in the education of coaches playing with speed and rhythm. Big, big topic in France now. So the, the big, uh, the top teams are focused to this point. And uh, yeah, and the aim of such tactical combinations, uh, creating two, mostly two against two situation in let me say bigger spaces, open spaces. That's that's the idea. Uh, 
that open spaces, you will see it in the videos, create open spaces. That, that's today, let me say, the, the main goal of uh, uh, tactical means and positional attack. Yeah, yeah some, some trends uh, to this uh, tactical means. Yeah, crossing movement with without the ball, okay, that was clear. Interesting, more and more, also sometimes there's a surprising <coughs> aspect in the game that you use free throw combinations, direct, direct with combination. You start from the free throw by standing, direct with the combination. One, two, three, passes, finish. But also, it's also a question of playing with different rhythm. Uh, everyone waits, okay, now the uh, preparation phase starts, but now you start immediately uh, a strong attack. I think that is also an interesting uh, aspect. I think I have also some videos for this. And also crossings without preparation phase, without longer preparation phase. Mostly when you are coming from the third wave, you start immediately a crossing without, without a break, direct. Or uh, you can see, not crossing, but uh, uh, France is playing just when, they, when they play uh, six against five. Without passing, with preparation passes. No? Carabaccio gets the ball, two, two times bouncing, and then the attack starts. No? So this technical idea to reduce preparation phases, or to play a little bit with these faces. It's also interesting. Yeah. Uh, that are more important uh, things today. Uh, so that was here, crossing from fast breaks to third day, that was also. Yeah, today all top teams are playing this. Ah, I come some later again. Maybe some examples. So from the final, Norway. As you know, especially in the first 15, 20 minutes, uh, Norway was very successful with a crossing without the ball. But normally, uh, uh, that is an opening, but uh, the left hand was going directly. It was a little bit surprised. You see it here, this is a three against three situation. Here we have this two against two in bigger spaces. In bigger spaces. That, that, that's a technical idea behind it. And here, here this space is free. This space is free and it can move. And then we have this quick solution, quick throwing action and so on. Also, the possibility here, you see it here, oh, this space is now also open, this is also possible. Easy, yeah, easy thing, easy attack, but effective. Yeah, a little bit, uh, the inside defender is anticipating the pass, the, norm, the normal and tactical mean. Uh, but, okay, in the beginning that was a little bit uh, wrong, so he opens the space and, okay, and here was not a good communication and co early cooperation, early cooperation. So you see, open spaces, two against two situations, and really easy solution. Also the, you can see it here, there's a flight camera. We have now the possibility to use uh, uh, video scenes from this uh, camera. It's so nice. It's unbelievable. You see it totally different. It's a lot. We were fighting a lot for this. In the next step, during a match, I have it on my computer. In the next step, this is this. this.
Yes, not a joke. <laughs> so the same, some minutes later, and that is also nice, you see the continuation yeah, to the other side, also a good idea. So, same opening here, here also nearly the same situation, he's now a little bit more defensive. But the space is also free, it is also looking. Is it possible to the keyboard? <coughs> you see also now here, look here. Always open spaces. You can make a line here, and then you see this bigger spaces. And he is also moving in a good way. Against Cabaret Gas here, attack this space. Here you see it. More bigger spaces you can use. Also the keywords. Yes. So here is Karen, he must head out. That system in the defense. Also some coordination problem to know it's very clear. Now you have a two against one situation, solution is always depending on the outside defender. Is he acting defensive, is he acting offensive, whatever. But that is a must. They exist two against one situation. And here you have the quick pass. In this situation we have a quick pass. That is clear. <coughs> then you need to create this. Without the ball from France, they do it a little bit more uh, complex with a wing. We spoke about this to integrate the wing in the backcourt. It's a good idea to develop an attacking style, but he must be able to play in the backcourt. Here he is coming. Here. Crossing it out, now he is coming. Yeah. And you see here that's also an idea to concentrate the defense on one side. So always the same to play with the spaces. Now he is coming. The question at the end. <laughs> Maybe you will get a receipt of punishment for this question. <laughs> yes, but do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> so here, yeah, that is clear. Now that is a dangerous situation. Very often, wing players make a, a tacker for. Yeah, that is dangerous. It must be a good one. But this player can also play in the in the backcourt. So therefore, you can play this. And here, and this is so typical for, for France, not crossing these big movements <laughs> parallel, parallel to the 9 meter line. The crossing movements parallel to the 9 meter line. It's difficult for the defense to defend. It's difficult. It's very difficult to attack from the line. Here always, he is also coming. If this is not happened, then he goes here and then he goes to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Very typical for France, movements in the backcourt parallel to the 9 meter line. Yeah. This you see from this camera position much more better. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that is a comment, huh? yeah. in English. <laughs> you, you can understand, huh? <laughs> okay.
Crossing without, crossing with the ball from France. Combination, depending to the situation. I think France is one of the best teams. It's such uh, technical means. Also crossing, now changes the speed. So nice. Huh? You see also, the crossing without is only an opening. Huh? Nothing else. But then, uh, they change the speed. Without. <laughs> now the people is here inside. And he can do it in an excellent way. He's dangerous. So the defense must. You see here this is the first. He can, the first solution is two against two in a bigger space. That is the first solution. And then look again. <laughs> Also here, look how they are crossing. That is dangerous. That is dangerous here. We, we said it, uh, crossing is uh, one length of time. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Then you can create an advantage. This is some small details, but important. Okay, and here is here. And uh, we will talk about in the, in the afternoon about the pivot, blocking situation from the pivot. You see, the pivot today at 60 minutes in the block. And yes, depending on the situation to change the block. That's clear. Uh, not standing. Depending on the situation, yes, to change. The block. Difficult for the defense. Uh, is it movements? Always against uh, the movements, uh, the direction of the movement, uh, the defense. Against. Yeah, that's, that's Against. That is difficult for the defense. Same crossing without, crossing with. That's a nice one. You see, it is a break. Think about change of rhythm and pace. It's a break, okay? Crossing is a little bit finished. Uh, stop a little bit, and then the responsible player, the best on the center, back the situation with the fainting. He starts three against three. In the right, to the right side. Always here, as it's clear, closer spaces, bigger spaces. This is always. To move a little bit to one side, to open spaces to the other side. Not so easy, it looks easy. <laughs> that's, that's top hand now, to work with spaces. So nice. And then, quick pass. Then, we need the quick pass. You see here, now the break, and now the second attack starts. Let us play forward without the preparation. In the past, ten years ago, in this situation, after crossing, we made five, six passes and start again. But that is 
How you are acting as a coach with your team during one game. The things changes and you find good ideas. Therefore, the, the top coaches, I saw two or three uh, uh, coaches uh, the last two world championships uh, had a chance also to come inside to the cabin. Uh, on that, on a, in the cabin is mostly a big transparent and that is a match prep. The match plan is written. Okay, we are doing this. If this is coming, then we are doing this. And at the end, if we have this situation, then we are doing this. That is today the, the preparation. Yes, of course. You need a strong match plan with A, B, A, B, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. 
defender and then change the speed. Yeah. And the typical combination is also easy but effective. Once again, they have played it since long years, but it is a surprising action. Same idea, change the speed. Once again, 
You see all the answer preparation. So maybe the game is over, but then this quick back pass and then to one side. That is what, what we call uh, playing with a rhythm, with a uh, timing uh, hand. So sometimes it looks like that you attack is over, try to go to another thing that could be in, and then it must be quick. And the center back is responsible for the right solution, in which direction. And the center back, that is the playability of the center back, to look in which direction is now possible. We are the bigger spaces. Also, you can do this very well. Again, as a final co conclusion, okay, in the best area, the question is what we want to do with seven against six. Answer, or first answers later in our course. Concerning also to the second question, the importance of time suspensions. If 80%, 90% of all teams are playing, uh, when they receive uh, two minutes, <coughs> are playing uh, six against six or whatever, then it's a question what we want to do with our two minute suspension in the future. And sure, we will working on this to change a little bit. Then the punishment is not 100%, it is maybe now 60% or whatever. So we have to work for this. Um, and that is part of the big topics in the next two years to find better ways yeah, uh, what we can do with two minutes. Dip, until now, different ideas exist. <coughs> uh, yeah, what we can do. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. You can discuss a lot of ideas. <laughs> a lot of ideas. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. I, I don't understand what, what the issue yeah. is. Uh, the value of two minutes. Uh, it's, it's now less. If, if you have a chance, you get to two minutes. And uh, uh, you can change the goalkeeper and you play six against six forward, then two minutes is nothing. No, because you still have the risk. Of the yes, you have the risk, but you have the risk. But in reality, when you look to the effectivity, it's not so bad. So the value of two minutes, it's a big discussion. Yeah, I, I agree with that. That might be very different. In fact, it has a million between and yeah. But first we have to look to the top end. Yeah. And uh, we must be careful. We must be careful. Uh, you as a coach can say, okay, here to my player, play more harder, six against six, we will solve this problem. But that is also a question. Of the quality in defense. Yeah, you, you can play with more risk in the defense. Is this the right way? I don't know. Uh, I give you also only a question. Oh, yeah. That is only a question. You see that the decrease in the effectivity of goalkeepers you're concerned about it. Do you reckon that this rule has influenced that in a big way? <coughs> Are enough to take the... Until now, uh, we, uh, we have to wait. We have to, uh, to, to train. Until now. But I will give you some information when we have this topic. I, I will give you our current opinion. Yeah. Uh, I think tomorrow after. 
I give you a grant from the grant status, but we all are thinking about the value of two minutes. Maybe also uh, what I said at the beginning, the problem is our yellow cut. <laughs> I mean, uh, six players receive a card, and then you can start. Yeah, we have the uh, Qatar. Uh, Qatar uh, is able to give us a lot of uh, statistics. Uh, also, room for all the It's a good work. Okay. The question is the development of the defense play concerning what I'm uh, always saying in the last days. Uh, uh, we still improve the quality uh, of uh, each position, each individual player in the attack. But we improve, improve also the cooperation, improve, improve. The question is how we act in the, in the defense play. Also, a question for the future. Okay, goalkeeper. Activity we discuss it. And sure, I'm, I'm sure uh, change of pace, playing with, uh, with different rhythm uh, in the game, that is one of the key in the future. I'm, I'm, I'm sure for this. Okay? So, then we get six, not today, but I will show you also a lot of examples. <coughs> and then we can discuss. Coming to the ladies. Until now, it's not really finished. That was it. Okay, and this team is called Andre from France, Lars Weltmann, some of you, you know him from Germany, and myself. Uh, the first idea is, as a first result, uh, also the women's team are going to this modern high speed game. Uh, speed, speed, speed was, was really interesting, also. From Korea? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sure. Uh, really nice to see. Uh, a lot of coaches said, uh, oh, more, more fast breaks, more quick throws than in a men's tournament. Was some impression from a lot of coaches, not only our other team. Well, that was not so bad to, to observe. <coughs> and that was. Or a little bit our conclusion. So this then fast break better than a little bit better than in a man's head, but better in this way, not how they are playing this, but for, for spectators, it's more speed. You know that in a, a women's area you play with more mistakes, technical mistakes. But it doesn't matter. If you have speed, this game looks nice. And you can sell it sometimes better. But it is also yeah, for us it's important. It's not that aggressive. Yeah. yeah, but it's important how to sell it. Right? And so that was for, from our side uh, not so bad. And don't forget the physical uh, situation in women's handball is a little bit different. It's rising up. Also, we have strong one on one viewers. But uh, the importance of fouls is a little bit different to the men's area. So this but this helps for a consistent pass. That's also so a lot of teams use a consistent fast pace play during the whole match. We uh, saw more quick throw off, was a successful quick throw off, but also interesting uh, to see. And clear, also a clear development in the third way that, that, uh, uh, that you continue and the defense. Is organized that you immediately continue. That is a, that's a, really is a very positive aspect of the uh, women's work for championship. Maybe we can have a look to some scenes. 
Now be careful, Korea, a lot of scenes from Korea are coming. <laughs> Nice example from the Netherlands at the end.